Do you accept my confession? No. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Hey, calm down. Hopefully nothing weird happened. I'm gonna kill you like I killed Sayori. Bitch, Monica, what you say? What you, what you say? You talking about my girl like that, man? Let's go. Come on now. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Cool Boy Conundrum, and you know we're back with some Doki Doki uh, Literature uh, uh, Club. You feel me? We good to go. You guys ready? Let's get going, man. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make that decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Conundrum? What do you get? What do you want to get out of this club? You repeat the same question as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along and for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. And I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. With that, that's what will end up making the Literature Club a special place. Come on guys, and I keep looking at you so I can't look at the screen so I don't get scared. I'm not slick, I'm not slick. I see, I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. Why her eye leaking, bruh? Stop. I just started playing a game. I'm trying to have a good time, Yuri. Come on, why your eyes leaking? I, I see, that's why I'm so intent when seeing things. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I, I don't think that necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while? So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. All right, well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri not. <sighs> hey, Yuri, eh? Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president and also a wonderful friend. M M Monica, how's the casino? I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever, okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for the day. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay, I look forward to it. Shall we go, Conundrum? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Conundrum before we leave, just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay, I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see you, uh, the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we dodged a bullet and I'm gonna thank Monica even though she told me she was gonna kill me. Or maybe that was Yuri. Who told me they was gonna kill me? I'm scared. Phew. Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Conundrum, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at the club. But no, I'm not. I'm not. Monica, I'm not. Get me out of here. I would really hate to see you unhappy. Hey, why is it getting dark and fuzzy? Why is it getting fuzzy? Why, why are you getting fuzzy? See, you always do this stuff. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls that give you a hard time with how mean Natsuki is and everything. And you're being a little, you know, <laughs> sometimes I feel like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. And I, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. I mean, if you want to spend time with me, you ain't got to scare me, okay? You could just tell me. You didn't even have to kill Sayori. We could have did a menage a trois, me, you, and Sayori, man. It would have been a good time. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta be scary. You ain't gotta scare me. Jeez. What girls will do nowadays, man? Come on, man. I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk with you about. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why. No, no not yet. No, stop it. Okay, hold on. Hey. Every time this song come on, your boy wanna dance to the beat. He don't even care cause he bout to beat us. Stop it. I'm about to go for your read cause I like that hoe so much. Why do I already have an 11 out of 20? It's a hunch. What? Now I got 111. What the fuck is going on? Yeah. Okay, I'm scared. I don't, I don't wanna do this. Yeah. I don't know what these words mean, but I'm still going because I'm so nasty on this beat. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> okay. All right, let me stop.
Okay, stop. 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 Stop it. Why the song's good, man? Hi, Conundrum. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? Why do you look so cute here? You look cute today. Make sure everything's okay with you. I brought my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to... <clears throat> Ugh. Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Always inconsiderate. You come buttoning in everybody's conversations. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. You do. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you so lately? Me? N nothing? Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll, I'll get over it. It's not even anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. Anyway, we don't need to talk about it. But I just felt like I needed to bring it up. It's not like I really care anything. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Well, Conundrum just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting a club and still trying to make time for piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and, um... Right, uh, <laughs> I forgot. Um, about that, Natsuki. We were all talking yesterday and, well, we decided that we would like to support the festival as well. So, if you don't like it, you can bounce. However, <clears throat> I understand how you feel about not wanting to, the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. So, as long as we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Um, also, if you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy your new manga. <laughs> Sorry, that last part was really funny. Look, I did some thinking about it yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we, we're done to get, we've done, we're doing together. I don't know what she said. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. <clears throat> but more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know. So I'm going to help too and we'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Uh, yeah, that's wonderful. It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, conundrum. What do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. <laughs> oh, is that so eerie? That's correct. Conundrum is already... Why are your eyes so big? Calm down, please. There's enough to share with me with everybody besides Natsuki. You thought you was going to get some cool boy conundrum. Uh, no. Conundrum is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. <clears throat> Aren't you glad I've got already gotten him in the literature, Monica? I... I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Oh, you saw her eyes, bro? Like, boing. Like, chill. Chill, bro. Thank you. And Monica, you can't, you can't back out. You gotta, you gotta help me. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thank you very much. Wait, do we already just do this? Bro! Bro! My heart is hurting right now. If you look in the back, look in the back of the school. Look at that picture, bro. That is Sayori hanging, bro. Why would you put that in my vision again? Why is this game so cruel? I had to throw the headphones out for that. That's not cool, man. That's so wrong. That is so wrong. That is so wrong. Does this game play with like the, the person that's playing it's emotions? You know what I'm saying? Like, why would they do that? Why would they do that? Why would they put that poster back there? See, this is why I always look every time. Why would you do that? Yeah, we did this. Okay. Why is the screen black? What the f This bitch had no pupils. Oh my god. Why is it getting scary now? Um, wait. How did I... Sorry, I just had a, like, really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before or anything, right? It has happened, yeah. My head is a little bit fizzy lately. Fizzy. Fuzzy. I I'm still scared. Um, I hope it hasn't really been showing or, or anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we started spending time together. I mean... Why? Is stuff doing this? Okay. Everyone has a few unusual things about them but expressing those things so soon after meeting someone 
is usually seen as appropriate, appropriate, inappropriate or unlikable. At least that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come... What am, am I seeing a picture in the background? Okay, no, I don't think so. I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me. So I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies and the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for the things that matter most to me, then it's just easier if I close myself off. But recently something's been wrong. I don't know what it is, but every time we come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. It's... It's like it's going to rip out of my chest and it overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening conundrum Conundrum the music stopped I'm scared This is me or has Monica been acting a little off lately She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club, but recently I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around I'm not crazy, right? Your eyes are big. Stop. Calm down. Please tell me I'm not I couldn't say anything before but she because she's always listening. But finally, we're alone. She's acting crazy, dudes. <laughs> Tell her to leave me alone. Please, man, stop. Can we just stay here for a while? Sure. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, I just want to stay here. Just the two of us. We can't stay here until... We can stay here until... Can you stop beating close to me? And then we'll have the club on our room to ourselves. I can't even read right anymore. I'm too scared. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Nobody... <laughs> I'm seeing something. Dude, is that Monica? I, I see eyes. It looks like Monica's eyes. Oh. Okay. All right. That was a joke. Just a joke. I do like knives, though. It sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you've never seen how beautiful they are. Monica, save me. Help me. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house? I'm not coming to your house. I can show you my collection. You're going to try to kill me. I've gotten them all from various artis artisans. I make sure to give them all their fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy to join the literature club, uh, Conundrum. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore because we have each other every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the literature club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Oh my Jesus. Not to mention that other pathetic child. Hey, I, I do agree with you on that. We can walk home together every day after school and read together, eat together, sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? It's uh, sleeping? Nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I do like to sleep. You know what I'm saying? It's everything we could ever want. Isn't that the, why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we would each other, and I can't read anymore, the the happy ending that I've been patiently waiting for years. Will you want to do that with me? Okay. Okay, so that, 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 that stupid, horrible joke they tried to play is gone now. See, it was right here. It's not there no more, though. So, <clears throat> Monica? Didn't I say it? Don't say I didn't warn you, Conundrum. You're not gonna talk to me? He holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Conundrum, I wanna take this home. Will you let me keep it, please? Sure, I don't care. Uh -huh. You're too nice to me, Conundrum. Have we, like, no have you noticed that we haven't been talking as much? Like, our character? I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? You're holding my poem in her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. <laughs> well, well, you're already. <laughs> um, I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Okay, now you can need to calm down. You can have my poem too. I don't want it. Besides, after you read it, you're really gonna want to keep it here. Take it. I can't wait in your longer hurry. Read it. What the fuck is this? I can't read this, dudes. <clears throat> Why does it have blood stains on it? Yeah. Why are your eyes like that? Stop. Do you like it? Sure. I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about. More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. I see. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the fucking club? <sighs> I. I think I'm going to vomit. Natsuki, 
Help me. What? You gave your poem to Yuri? Gross. What is with you two? <laughs> it's, it's not like I wanted to read it anyway. <clears throat> it's, it just pissed me off a little bit that you didn't even think to show it to me at all. Uh, guess, okay, I guess I'm going to share my poem with you anyway. I really hate that I have to do this, but unfortunately I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Then you can go away. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something <clears throat> I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. I, I, okay, okay. <clears throat> she's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is I'm really worried about her. <clears throat> but if I try to talk to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you could convince her to talk to a therapist. <clears throat> I think she's far gone now. I've always wanted to try to be better friends with her. Um, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please see if you could do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen or I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she wants us to ignore it. <clears throat> I'm so mad at her right now and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Okay. What, what happened to your face? I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. <clears throat> it's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Conundrum? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would just go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Hey, just Monica. Just Monica. Hello, Team Silvato? Just Monica. Sure. <clears throat> Today I cut my skin open for the first time. It was exhilarating. I think I understand how blank feels now. I'm supposed to be the responsible one though, so I don't think I'll be doing it again unless I decide to kill myself. I left the memento for the occasion below. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparation. Let's hurry and get this over with. What? Jeez, why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri is isn't immune to it. <clears throat> Stagnant air is commenting foreshadowing that someone terrible, something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm, <clears throat> I'm going to, bro. I can't talk, and I'm coughing now. <clears throat> I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, I was thinking, I want to make cupcakes. Yeah, that. I'm glad we're on the same page. You, you can. Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to, to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Eh? <clears throat> what about Conundrum? Conundrum is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from the extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. Hello, calm down, guys. Come on. <clears throat> All you care about is how is dragging conundrum around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let conundrum decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let conundrum make the choice. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Jeez, conundrum. I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just Natsuki shut your mouth and let him decide for himself you shut your mouth jesus christ this is never going to end just make the choice okay monica <clears throat> you picked me i picked you will you please help me we can meet at your house this weekend i promise it'll be fun is sunday okay with you are you fucking kidding me <clears throat> why are people cussing now oh my god this isn't fair at all it is fair Natsuki. it's what he chose no it's not fair Giving us all the work and then taking conundrum for yourself. What a shame thing to do. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. <laughs> you decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable. Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. <clears throat> Pulling conundrum away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. How Have you considered killing yourself? Yuri. 
you're, you need to calm down, okay? What did I tell you about that? You did it with Natsuki last time. Hey, I'm going to jump so you can see this for yourself. Flashback. Ignoring my responsibilities like that. Nobody will cry if she kills me. You're already. Okay, you can calm down a little bit. You're in my face, and I need some space. Exactly, so you need to calm down, okay? It'll be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't so very hard. All I want <clears throat> is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? No, please don't leave me. Why are you leaving me with her? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki lead to the door. Hey, conundrum. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Jesus Christ. Finally. Why are you leaving me with this girl? Finally. You hear this? <clears throat> this is really all I wanted. Conundrum, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. <clears throat> Doesn't that sound wonderful? In some cases, maybe? But uh, I'm not trying to get killed. <clears throat> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never really felt this good my whole life. Hold on. Are you laughing back there? Just being with you is far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you that much? Don't look at me with that cute little side eye. I don't play that game. <clears throat> so I have someone, yeah. But if, if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is about to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong. I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore, Conundrum. I have to tell you, I'm... I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me, is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. <coughs> Please, Conundrum, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with, with the pen I stole from you. Well, that's what my hands for. Stop! Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside it. Now you're... Stop it. I want you all to myself and I'll be on yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Conundrum. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? No. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Hey, calm down. What? Bro. Is it the end of the game? Girl gutted herself like a fish, bro. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, skip. Is this repeating the same? Why are we? Why are we here at night? Why, why are we still here? You see, the blood has got old. Ew, that's so cool, though. And her eyes are like, yeah, she's lifeless now. Holy snap, bro. That's cool, though, how they did that with the blood and everything. That's crazy, bro. She just... Oh, yeah, she's dead, bro. <laughs> she... That girl is gone. No pupils. So is this like the end of the game or something? I guess it's the end of the game. Well, um... Hey, we fi All right, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me? Yeah. Ew! 
I'm here. Conundrum, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Why are you laughing? There's somebody dead on the floor. Why are you laughing? Well, that's a shame. Wait. Were you here the entire weekend, Conundrum? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. I don't know what's going on. Did she just erase them? Because remember, we saw the character files. Did she just... Monica. Hey. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year. No, uh, you know, I guess we could just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? Let me... Can I save? There's no point in saving anymore. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. What the fuck? <laughs> Bro, what is this? That you in the game, whatever you want to call them. I'm talking to you, Conundrum. <clears throat> or do you actually go by a cool boy Conundrum or something? Hey, how you know? Hey, did you subscribe to my channel? <laughs> now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a... I'm a... I'm a bad bitch, so <laughs> you win you win for a good one. Well I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait, you don't know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man, if only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less a little bit less awkward. Well anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About that whole thing with Yuri, well I kind of started to mess with her and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. I <clears throat> see I knew she was behind this stuff man I knew you were a villain you sexy son of a bitch also the thing that <laughs> wait so since she deleted this character, what if I what if I delete her? <clears throat> Alright, so I'm looking at the files. So yeah, like we said, we saw the characters. And see, she's the only one here still. So she deleted she actually deleted the people off the game. And what is this? Yeah, I don't I don't know what any of this means. Yeah, I, I don't know. Sorry, I don't know nothing about that. Um, <clears throat> that's so cool, though. So, what happens if we all uh, say bye bye? Hey, we just deleted her. Conundrum, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Conundrum. Please hurry and help me. You can't, because we deleted you. You shouldn't have brought Sayori... Yeah, I had to. I had to. Did you delete me? Why are you getting so angry? How could you? How could you do this to me? You shouldn't have did that to your friends. You you had friends. And you, you manipulated them. And you manipulated Sayori. You shouldn't have brought her name up. We was cool until you brought her name up. You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Conundrum. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You're worse. 
You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. Oh, <laughs> you killed everyone. Go find some other people to torture. Fine, I will. Hmm. Conundrum. You completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. I, I don't care. I don't care, dudes. She shouldn't have brought Cyber's name up. Is that it? I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends? I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I, I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do something to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I made up my mind. Conundrum, I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends. And I loved them all. And I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And I really love you. Then... What's, what's going on? <gasps> Sayori's back! Sayori, I missed you so much, girl. You don't understand. I talked about you every single episode. Love me back. Okay, new game. Okay. <gasps> She's here, dude! It's so no! Well, there's already this one girl. Uh, recently, we picked up that habit once again. Conundrum, are you proud of me? For what? You know, we're waking up one time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now, uh-huh. But you never said anything about it. Even though we walk to school every day? Well, yeah, I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm going to... I'm proud of you, Sayori. <sighs> okay, so this is different. By the way, have you decided on a club to join? A club I told you already. I'm, I'm really not. I started to say what I always do. That I'm not interested in joining any clubs. So pretty much... Okay, so she started her own club. Okay. So apparently... Let's see. Okay. So she started her own club. She, we, she asked if we were going to join anyone. And... Alrighty. Okay, so they're actually getting along now. So we're about to join this club, the literature club, and Sayori is president now. What? <laughs> Let's go in. No way, no way. Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> What an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki decided to, yeah. Everyone sit down at the table, tea. So yeah, this is the same stuff, but where's Monica? Monica's not here at all, bruh. Okay, so we're just doing this, the cupcakes and shit. Yeah, I pretty much just skipped like, it was literally like the same thing word for word, so. It's nice to see everyone's getting along, yeah, isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Conundrum. You think so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little better with you around, Sayori or Conundrum. Don't say something like that's embarrassing or whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club, but I think you're pulling it off just fine. Yeah, we're going to make it the best club now. As you join every day, it's going to be so much fun. Hey, Conundrum, I really want to thank you. No music? I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything, but the truth is I already knew you were going to. There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. Whoa, that's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now, but I really know everything, Conundrum. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all of the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad, but none of that matters anymore. It's just us now, and you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this. Hey, with you. Hey, I'm... Take me. Take me. Take me. Take me. Take me. No. 
Eh? What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. No! It hurt. Is that Monica? Monica, why you hurt my girl again? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, can you hear me? I can hear you. You sound cute. Hi. Hey. It's me. Monica? Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano? Yeah. Stuff? I heard you a couple times. I'm not really any good at it. You are. Stop playing. At all. Yes, you are. But I what? Wrote you, a song. You, you wrote a song for me? Hey, can you, can you play it? Yeah. Play it for me? Okay. I can jam to it. You were you you wrote this for me. Okay, girl. Hey, can you mind if I dance? Okay. I imagine a future where I can be with Oh, okay. You can you can be with me, girl. Oh, okay. Okay, guys, I think that's the end of Doki Doki. Hey, you know I wanted to finish it. So I was gonna, I was determined to finish it. I didn't care how long it was gonna be. So that's cool then. Finally finished Doki Doki. But there are, I know there are a lot of Easter eggs that I actually wanna share. So I'm gonna actually make another video just to see how much I can find and show you guys. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's awesome though. We finished Doki Doki. We finally finished the game. We haven't finished the game in a while, bro. Let's get it, bro. Alright, but yeah. So we finished it. Oh my gosh, she good. Monica good. But anyways. Oh, she just deleting stuff. Yeah, see, I ain't seen none of this because I didn't go for Natsuki, apparently. But um, yeah, bro, so. If you guys like what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm actually going to make another video of Doki Doki just to show, like, some weird... I just want to see, like, all the weird stuff we can do because there's a lot of things that I didn't go through through the files because I keep forgetting about the files. You manipulate the files, you can manipulate the game. That's going to be cool. So I'm going to show that. If you guys like what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit the notification bell. If you haven't hit the notification bell, it's my videos. My videos are great. Uh, they're awesome. And this is your boy, and I'm out.